Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, we will see a game between Pragnananda versus SC Pinko Henry from Tata Steel Masters round number 13, which was last round. Uh, and uh, with this victory, Pragnananda scored uh, one more win against Super Grandmaster. So, SC Pinko Henry's rating is 27-14 and he is from Russia. And as you know, Prague is uh, Indian prodigy. So uh, let's start the game. Prague started with d4, knight f6, c4, e6, and knight c3, bishop b4. So AC Pinko choose uh, Nimzo Indian defense. a3, bishop into c3, b into c3, and c5. Uh, after c5, Prague played e3. Knight c6, bishop d3, short castle, knight e2, and b6. Uh, now, until this point, the position is completely fine, and uh, white's main threat is just to uh, sh do short castle, play e4, f3, and uh, develop this bishop to g5, and uh, start an attack on king side. Prague played e4 here and SC Pinko replied with knight e8. The position is equal. Then short castle, bishop a6. Uh, black's clear target is the c4 pawn. Black will uh, now play knight a5, knight d6 slowly or even rook c8 and try to uh, grab this c4 pawn. Uh, Prague started attack with f4 and uh, <coughs> SC Pinko played f5 more. Uh, if not f5 then Prague will play f5 then e5 maybe and uh, the attack is very dangerous for black so that's why Spinko played f5 into f5 into f5 d into c5 b into c5 and bishop e3 now you can see uh, white's position is uh, white's pawn structure is a little bit uh, not that good but uh, white have double bishop advantage and uh, black's pieces are scattered even black's f5 pawn is not uh, well placed even c5 pawn is weak and uh, these pieces uh, are not developed yet this queen rook so uh, the position is equal currently uh, like i would say unclear so after bishop e3 to defend this c5 pawn uh, ac pinko played d6 now knight g3 again targeting on f5 knight e7 queen f3 and knight c7 rook a b1 queen d7 uh, uh, both players are playing just developing moves so rook f e1 g6 bishop f2 and now Prague's plan is to uh, put this rook uh, here by playing rook e2 rook e1 or maybe rook b2 and rook e2 uh, or even he can uh, put this rook at e3 also so after bishop f2 black played knight c8 knight f1 knight b6 knight e3 rook a e8 and bishop h4 after bishop h4 queen g7 the position is still uh, completely okay descent for both sides but uh, as you can see black is playing passive and white is playing active so uh, that's the difference and white have some major plans like uh, to get control on this d5 square or uh, maybe white can play g4 after some time uh, and black doesn't have any uh, good plans like if if now the clear threat is uh, take c3 pawn but if white uh, defend white defended this threat by just playing a rook b7 which Prague played in the game uh, so there is well, black cannot do anything so after rook b c1 black played rook e6 now a4 and this is very interesting move by prague uh, because after a4 the main plan is if you take knight into a4 then uh, prague will get knight d5 and this d5 square is very important for this knight uh, you cannot play immediately knight d5 because there are two knights so uh, that's why and after a4 ac pinko uh, made a mistake by taking this knight into a4 ac pinko should 
have played a move like rook e8 or queen f7 and keep uh, the center control but uh, as if we go to knight into f4 now uh, he's pawn up black is pawn up but uh, the d5 square control is completely uh, under white's control right so after knight into f4 white played knight d5 bishop b7 and rook into e6 knight into e6 now you can see uh, white's pieces are uh, very strong uh, strongly seated on their squares so after knight into e6 rook e1 queen d7 queen g3 rook f7 and uh, again this is blunder black should take bishop into d5 you see into d5 but after rook f7 simply knight f6 came and knight f6 rook into f6 bishop into f6 uh, still this position is not uh, clearly winning for white but now white have double bishop advantage and rook versus black have two knights versus bishop so already position is collapsed for uh, black so it's just a matter of technique uh, black played king f7 now we will not go into a deep uh, analysis because this position is almost winning so queen h4 h5 bishop g5 queen c6 uh, mating threat on g2 queen h3 knight into g5 f into g5 and uh, prague's threat is just to take bishop into f5 g into f5 and maybe queen into h4 queen into f5 both is fine so to defend f5 black played bishop c8 and prague played queen e3 here uh, queen e3 is not correct move instead of queen e3 he should play g4 and uh, after g4 it's almost winning for white because the main plan is to take on g into f4 g into h5 but uh, to find g4 in time pressure is difficult because you have to check bishop b7 also and queen h1 is coming so um, uh, so that's why g4 is a uh, good move but maybe prague missed it so after g4 if black took with f into g4 then queen e3 is coming and now rook f1 or queen e7 uh, and it's very unpleasant for black and after h into g4 white white will play directly queen h7 check so uh, but prague played queen e3 here and after queen e3 queen d7 queen e2 queen d8 queen a2 bishop d7 and uh, you can see prague slowly uh, developed its queen to a better square and now prague played h4 also which is quite a good move to defend g5 so safety first and uh, prague you do not hurry principle so after queen c8 queen into c8 knight into c8 now you can see uh, these three pawns are in white square and this bishop is white square bishop so it's clear that prague uh, is winning here but again it's just a matter of techniques and matter of few moves so after bishop b3 king e7 rook a6 king d8 so prague just uh, improved his position by playing uh, some moves and uh, he have uh, repeated the position maybe for a time but uh, uh, it's fine and the last situation yeah so prague played bishop a4 here and if bishop into c4 bishop e8 and this g6 pawn is hanging knight e7 then rook a7 check king d8 and even rook into e7 is uh, completely winning position because bishop into g6 and again this two pawn uh, white will grab these two pawns and just push this h5 g6 h6 and uh, there will be checkmate in next 15 to 20 moves uh, but instead of the this s pinko played knight b6 instead of bishop into c4 after knight b6 bishop b5 came now rook a7 is threat so again knight c8 king e3 bishop e6 and bishop e8 uh, instead of bishop e6 black doesn't have any good move so bishop e6 is almost forced and after bishop e6 bishop e8 and ac pinko resigned uh, here but after bishop e8 ac pinko can 
play knight e7 but rook a7 check is coming king d8 and rook into e7 which we have seen uh, in last variation and after rook into e7 king into e7 bishop into g6 this position is winning because so it will take again bishop into h5 king f4 bishop into f5 and just uh, white can push this pawns yeah so uh, this victory was very important for prague and uh, with uh, with this last round prague finished uh, 12th on uh, on the final ranking list and there were a total 14 players so uh, initially prague uh, didn't played well like in first half but uh, in second half he played a uh, decent uh if you enjoy this video then please do like share and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching this video and again congrats to uh, prague for this victory it's very proud moment for india uh, thank you again see you in next video bye bye